IGF events theme is the next 10 years. And as India tries to achieve all the things that Amit Shah ji was just talking about, it's really important, of course, for Maharashtra, because India can't really achieve all of that without Maharashtra playing its role in this. And interestingly, Maharashtra is also going to be completing 75 years in 2035. How do you envision the growth of Maharashtra? How do you envision Maharashtra at 75? At the outset, let me apologize for everybody that I am pushing their lunch away. <laughs> but uh, I think it's a very interesting question because uh, in 2035, Maharashtra uh, will be at 75. And uh, we have envisioned uh, a few things for Maharashtra when it becomes uh, 75 years old. So it's basically uh, based on infrastructure-led growth. It is based on sustainability. It is based on uh, uh, investment uh, which creates job. It is based on uh, creating robust social infrastructure. And of course, it's based on, on uh, security. So I think uh, when you look at uh, infrastructure-led growth in Maharashtra, in next 10 years, we will be investing around uh, $100 billion in infrastructure. And I must share with you that this journey of creating infrastructure started with the blessings of Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji in 2014. And uh, in 2019, when a report from Deutsche Bank came, the report said that uh, out of all investment that is happening in India in big infrastructure projects, 50% of investment is happening in the state of Maharashtra. So we actually upscaled the investment in the state of Maharashtra because we believe that infrastructure-led growth is one model where we can fast track, uh, you know, entire this process of development. And uh, I think uh, we want to uh, invest more. We feel, and out of our experience, we know that if we have, you know, big projects, big ticket projects, if our projects are feasible and bankable, then I think capital is not a problem because Maharashtra uh, is, is one state where all our parameters, fiscal parameters, are well within the limits. So whether it is multilateral agencies or banks, they are ready to finance us. So that is one thing which we are doing. 